If you've ever wondered how Facebook can recognize faces and pictures, or how Alibaba now lets you make payments with your face alone, the answer is deep learning. Today, I'll talk a little bit about how deep learning software can be trained to see and comprehend videos. I'll even show you how I built a program to recognize facial expressions and an animation flower that makes the software come to life. A convolutional neural network is a model for deep learning that's kind of like a jungle gym of calculations used to transform a bunch of information into some useful prediction. But each part is actually pretty simple and it's mostly just multiplication in a very creative way. We can think about the model in two parts, the feature extraction and the classification. Each picture has a density value. This is how the computer sees. Each of these pixels is connected and has some sort of pattern. It's up for the network to learn this pattern and it uses weighted filters to learn the relationship amongst different parts of a picture. The filters are basically just multipliers that transform pixels to feature maps. Then there's the classification used to determine how the picture should be labeled. A bunch of weights are applied to the values of these connected feature maps. These weights will tug at the values in different ways, and after some applied functions, we'll arrive at a summed prediction between one and zero. Closer to one is a higher probability for the prediction. Each time a picture is uploaded, the network is going to calculate the error and inform all of the filters what changes to make and how to adjust all the weights to get closer to the right prediction. It will do this over and over again until the error is reduced enough to make consistent, reliable prediction. It's deep learning in the sense that there are multiple layers of learning. This is a 3D model of what a trained model would look like. First, for feature mapping, we're applying six filters each with unique weight multipliers to give us these six feature maps. Each one emphasizes something unique about the picture. Then we condense these feature maps to be able to better generalize and follow the same pattern for the next couple layers. Then we move to classification in which the matrix is flattened and the values go through a series of functions to finally predict a class. I wanted to build something that brought this to life a little more. So I set out on a challenge to build something that can actually show you its response to your facial expressions. The flower will open when it sees a warm expression, close quickly when it recognizes someone who's upset, and turn green when someone seems surprised. My first step was to train a model or convolutional neural network that can predict faces. To something that can perform well with low latency on a Raspberry Pi is kind of difficult. So I use a repo of 25,000 labeled facial expressions from Kaggle. And Kaggle's a site for training data for this kind of use case. I also use a software library called TensorFlow to build a deep learning model. All these were trained through my network 1,000 times each and produced a model as 5 million weights. Now this model can make predictions and has taught itself where to focus, which is really cool. So when an image is uploaded, all of these pixels are processed by this very specific formula. It will then give a prediction of one of seven different faces. Then I wrote the code to recognize and capture video from a camera to take each frame and crop out anything that looks like a face and run it through my model. I 3D printed a number of parts and built a base to hold a Raspberry Pi processor and program it to control a servo pulley, a camera, and some lights. I ran the wires up the stem, including a pulley that will animate the flower. Next part was tricky because I had to solder tiny LEDs together around the center of the flower and I have no experience soldering. I used fiber optic cable to exaggerate the light from the LEDs and also serve as a skeleton for the movement of the petals. I added the pulley hook and camera and quite a few steps later, I had this flower. Then I used Wi-Fi to connect Philips Hue smart lights. Hopefully you now have a little better understanding of how this type of technology works. I've added some videos for a better understanding of neural networks to go a little bit deeper. Thanks for watching.